Hi there. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the Sage 50 interface. So in this interface, we have a menu bar. You'll notice that the menu bar does not contain many commands. So you can't do everything with the application via the menu bar. It's just a few little shortcuts. We have um, over on the left, we have access to all of the modules within Sage 50. Within each module, you'll notice, for example, for receivables, we have a list of all of our customers, uh, a little bit of their contact information and their balance. We have all of the things that we can do with our customers, as well as um, some reports that are particular to customers. So the reports here are categorized via the module. And you'll see the very similar arrangement for payables, everything we can do with our vendors, aka suppliers, and a list of all of our suppliers, a little bit of contact information, and their balances. Inventory, same thing, everything we can do with inventory, all of our inventory items, some reports for inventory, employees, everything we can do with our employees, as well as with the government, a list of all of the employees, and so on. Um, we also have divisions, which we'll look at in level two, uh, banking, which we'll look at in level two, the company module, which contains the chart of accounts and the general journal, which we'll be looking at quickly, uh, soon, that is. Now notice under the dashboard, we can also have, basically we have these little charts that we can look at uh, that are particular to the session date. So you, you see we have the session date here. If you click on that, we can change the session date. Again, the session date is the default date for all transactions. When you create a new transaction, it'll use the session date by default, but we can always override it. There's a date field on each transaction as well. We have um, some other shortcuts here. So we can open a company. You can find this under the file menu as well. Backup, which is also under the file menu, I believe. File backup, yep. And uh, DBM, which is our daily business manager, which contains a, a calendar as well as a bunch of lists of transactions. We'll take a look at it, that in closer detail. And um, a button to close other windows. Um, if we need to make some settings, uh, some, some changes to the settings, if we have more than just the home window open, we won't be able to change some settings. They'll be grayed out so we can quickly uh, close under other windows before we go to change settings. We also have the switch to classic view. Some people prefer to work in this view. It's basically like a leaned out version. Here's a list of all of our modules, um, records, and all of the things we can do with those records. So if you find yourself in that view and you want to get back, it's just the little toggle there, classic or enhanced. And that's pretty much um, the interface in a nutshell. We'll be looking at each item in closer detail as we look at each particular module. Thanks for watching.